Canton Civic Center was packed Thursday as hundreds of officers and community members came out to say their final goodbyes to Canton K-9 officer Jethro. The sacrifice that dog took, it's very heart-wrenching. To know that this particular scenario was the dog helped the handler, so the handler got to come home. And, and it, it just shows the devotion. Jethro died Sunday after he was shot by a suspect during a shootout early Saturday morning in Canton. The suspect fired several shots and Jethro was struck four times. Dear Lord, you have released Jethro. Hundreds of officers from all over the country and the state came to pay tribute to Jethro. Well, everybody loves their dogs and uh, we're trying to support fellow police officers. These NYPD officers said as soon as they heard about Jethro, they knew they had to come to Ohio. You just want to hug your dog. You just want to grab him and just, you know, just hug him. You know, and it's, 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 a special, it's a special bond that you have with your dog. Um, I've been in the canine unit for 13 years now. And these officers from Maryland agreed. It's just like losing a family member. Um, you know, th this is a, a brotherhood um, and that includes our four-legged partners as well. Um, we probably spend just as much time with them as much as we do with our own family. We thank you in sharing of the pride in the great sacrifice of one of our own. The Canton Police Chief says Jethro will always be remembered for sacrificing his life to save his partner, Ryan Davis. Day, the 14th day of January 2016, will always be reserved and remembered in the hearts of many as K-9 Officer Jethro Day in the city of Canton. Davis became emotional as the chief handed him an American flag. Whereas the passing of K-9 Jethro is now in the heart of God. Jethro would have turned three Thursday, the day he was laid to rest. Car 69, K-9 six zero, Jethro. This is his end of watch. He is now out of service. Jethro, you will be missed by all and we thank you for your service. In Canton, Peggy Gallick, Fox 8 News.